All right, now that we got them broken down, it's time for the double hook sweep. All right, so guys, we're gonna break them down like we just drilled, hip up, over, and always maintain. Now that he's nice and controlled, most guys are gonna actually hug, hug you back. So go ahead and hug up. Yeah, this is realistic. So now my, my feet, now that I have control, my feet will open, and I'll put my feet together kind of like a prayer. So now I'm gonna start scooping my legs over the hips, over the butt, and right about here, it's gonna be really hard to get the hooks on the feet. So this is where you bridge and your toes touch the floor. And once you do that, my feet can swipe out and I got hooks on the uh, front of his feet and shin bone. And I keep my toes up towards my knees. Very important. As I straighten him out, his knees will slide back because that's how strong your legs are in this setup. And what's great with this is he can't go anywhere. And we're, our, our formula blocks the same side limbs, head heavy. Well, as soon as I stretch his legs and his knees back, he's basically head heavy, he's flattened out. So now what do I do? I want to make sure I got both legs blocked. The, the best arm to block now is when it's hugging my neck or by my neck. So I touch my own head and pinch my elbow. And when you do that, the left hand, to continue keeping his posture down, hugs his back by his arm there. And if you think about it, he's pretty, he's head heavy, flattened out. His left arm and left leg are same side limbs that are blocked. So that means my left foot comes off and goes on the floor here for a bridge. And I'm only pushing my left hip off the floor. Now I roll all the way to my belly. As soon as you get to your belly, your knees are wide, heels go together, and you stay super wide, slight lean over to my right side. So my left shoulder is pushing his face uh, the wrong way because he wants to keep sweeping me that way. Now he's nice and anchored down. All right, so here you can see what the feet are doing. I'm going to hip up, got my frame. I'm going to kill the frame, I bring it forward we get our grip. Once we're in this grip, my feet will go together like a prayer. I reach over his hips, over the butt, and go between the legs. And I can't reach, so I bridge my butt as high as I can go. I can touch the floor. And guys, if you can touch the floor, you just scrape your feet outwards and loop your toes up towards your knees. You'll always hook their feet and shin. And that's an important detail. Because now, with my toes up, I just straighten my legs. His knees slide back. And now he has horrible posture because he's flattened out, which in our formula, he's basically head head. Both legs are blocked. His left arm is going to be blocked. I touch my own head, pinch my elbow, my left hand grabs his back by his armpit. Because his, uh, he's head heavy and the left limbs are blocked, my left leg comes off because I don't need his right limb. And I just push my left hip off the floor. We roll over. As soon as I land here, heels together, knees super wide. And I put a little lean to my right to put pressure on his face. And now I won't be rolled with that momentum that I'm up top. 